say about it? What strikes you? Yeah? Um, do you use um, like the, kind of like the pedal, but then in the, in the, in the left hand and then in the right hand using tension and release and dissonance? Yeah. It's, it's not wrong, but I need a simpler answer. Say it again. They're really connected with the name of the piece and what the piece. Oh, that. Like I listened to you and I thought, how deep is the ocean? That's, That's nice. That's not the answer I was looking for, but it's beautiful. <laughs> but actually, you know what? What you say is related to the to the answer I'm, I'm I'm expecting. In a way, it's related. Indirectly, but it is. Try to basically imagine you don't know anything about music and you hear that. Sand weed. Yeah. But that's not it. It was a song. Kind of, but that's not it. Yeah, well. It's based on one ID. That's, what, that's the answer I'm looking for. It's one thing. You know how deep is the ocean? You have you know, a melody, a beautiful melody. You have chords. You have lots of things. And you can make it super, you know, you can make it many things, you know. And that's why it's related, because it's, you know, that oceanic thing maybe comes from the fact that it's always the same thing. You know, it's like swimming in the ocean, you know. 2,000 miles later. You know, it's like, you know, in a way that's what it is. It's monotonous, kind of. But it's based on one idea. It's like 
and I didn't prepare it. I mean, I didn't even know I was going to play out deep in the ocean. I don't know why I, 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 pointed, I, I picked that one up. And what happens very often with me in my playing, and that I use the I very, very heavily here because it's me and my universe and my taste, and not everybody does it and not everybody has to, is that I love to have an ID and see where it brings me. I remember, for example, playing Nardis. I don't know those who know Nardis here. And I remember starting it. And I, in my tortured brain, you know, I was like, what is the most, the wrongest note I could start it with? And I, I came up with B flat for some reason, so I don't. for the whole take like that, I was like that around the B flat. And I remember coming up with some idea that were like, wow, much more fresh than here. Because when I did it, I didn't know what I was going to do. Now I know it. You know, Now I know I'm going to do it. So it's already, you know. And that's another difference with, for example, Wayne. Wayne Krantz who said that he liked to have a pre kind of like determined written thing. And for me, I function better when there is strictly nothing. Again, it is very personal. Again, it is something that's very different from one musician to the other. And you have to kind of at some point maybe <coughs> see what works best for you. This way you explore the melody and you pick one shape, one idea, and you go with it all the time. Something that most of you guys don't really do much because you're looking for ideas all the time. <coughs> and sometimes that's a big mistake. You look for something instead of exploring what you already have. And that's, to me, is a very interesting thing in improvisation is, OK, I have an idea. I don't need to have like two thousands of them. Let's see what this one brings.